on February 1st of this year, the official Rise of Kingdoms YouTube channel revealed that we're going to be getting a new civilization coming to the game. And today we're going to talk about everything we know about this new civilization, why I think we're going to be getting Egypt and why you should start saving your legendary sculptures what's going on guys cheers so there's going to be two parts to this video okay the first part is going to be everything we know about the new civilization and why all signs seem to be pointing towards egypt and then the second part is going to be regardless of the new civilization why you should start saving your legendary commander sculptures right now especially if you are free to play or a low spender and this is a great time to start saving because the bunny bonanza event is going on for easter which gives you 35 legendary commander sculptures if you spend the 7,000 gems to unlock this second tier of rewards, which you absolutely should do, even if you're free to play, because you're going to get a lot of value out of everything here. And you're going to get a lot of those gems back. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the new information that points towards Egypt being the new civilization coming to the game. Before we jump into that, guys, if you haven't liked the video already, it helps the channel out a ton. And just double check to see if you're subscribed. I think a lot of you might think you are, but you're actually not because YouTube's just recommending the video anyway with that out of the way the first thing I want to talk about is what we've already been shown from rise of kingdoms this is official information so on February 1st they released this update video we talked about this on the channel already but this was a little while ago so I just want to refresh you they did show some silhouettes of what we're going to be getting for this new civilization so so we have some units here we see some different it looks like units uh probably two archer units tier four tier five as well as two commanders obviously there's going to be some sort of epic commander that comes with this civilization and then probably a legendary commander that comes with uh the gold keys as well which is unfortunate because I, I don't want to see them put more commanders in the gold keys we've got plenty of commanders there already diluting the pool so Lilith if you're listening please replace Ethel flood in the metal store or something like that please don't put this commander into the gold keys but regardless this is what we see here we also see what appear to be some you know building designs that are blacked out we also see here if we go a little bit forward in the video and we get a little bit of a closer look on those silhouettes of the units and everything like that and we also get a better view of the building silhouettes now with this information alone we don't have that much to go off of however a very popular website that releases information early for rise of kingdoms is called rockguides.ru and recently on their commander page we see an update for the new commanders coming to the game now this website has been relatively dormant in the past couple of weeks i think probably because lilith is cracking down and also potentially you know there's some conflict going on in this uh area of the world okay so you know whoever runs the site may be affected by that i don't know thoughts and prayers go out to everybody involved with that but regardless we do see an update okay and here we have four new commanders listed on the commander screen obviously flavius and cpo have already been announced we already know that they're coming to the game but we have two more commanders here that these reputable uh this reputable source has listed as new commanders coming to the game now this is not official information and this could just be fake it could be a hoax these you know th this 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 website is run by people you know that are not affiliated with the game at all so this could be 100 not true however this is what they have listed here and these two commanders i'm not even going to attempt to uh to, to pronounce these things okay their names here actually you know what let me let me go ahead and give it a try okay we're gonna go with footmos the third <laughs> I just feel like that can't be right. That just can't be it. And then we got uh I'm hot up, okay? We can... <laughs> your boy I'm over here, okay? These two uh <laughs> anyway, okay. Wikipedia lists both of these two individuals as uh Egyptian, okay? They're both Egyptian. So if these two commanders were going to be let's say the next archer commanders right which we're going to talk about that later in the video uh but if this if these two were the next archer commanders what are the odds that lilith would pick two egyptian commanders to release at the same time maybe they could but what's more likely is that this has to do with the civilization that's coming to the game so uh this commander here we're going to call him Th Th thutmos or uh Th 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 Moses. okay okay just don't don't dislike the video okay anyway uh he, he was one of the he was the sixth pharaoh okay 
and the other commander here looks like they were an Egyptian chancellor to the Pharaoh uh and both of these are Egyptian okay and I don't think that's a coincidence if we take a look back at the silhouettes here that we see um we have a couple of hints here now if you take a look here this is probably the city hall okay because this is the largest building of the four and typically that's how that works there's a couple of things I want you guys to notice here it looks like there are plants associated that appear to be probably palm trees or something similar and over over here we see what appears to be a, 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 an actual statue of a person right perhaps a guardian or a pharaoh or something like that now jumping into rise of kingdoms we can see that the city of power legendary skin shares a lot of these similarities here okay we have some sort of uh raw statue it looks like over here on actually on all corners we also have the palm trees off on every single corner here as well and at the very top we have uh you know some sort of like again probably some sort of Ra or Sun God type of structure looking back at the silhouette so we have a similar looking structure or perhaps wings on the top of the City Hall now is that proof that we're getting Egypt no but I think the fact that again it obviously looks like there's some sort of palm trees involved and some sort of statues on the top here I think it could look similar obviously not nearly as cool but it could look similar to the design of the City of Power legendary city skin so that's one thing to note now it's also worth noting here that on a uh Thutmose uh, I don't I'm just just roast me in the comments uh it, it's worth noting here that during the final two years of his reign he appointed his son and successor Amenhotep II which perhaps that is going to be the other commander that we see instead of Imanep and that it could just be a translation error uh on this page here perhaps that's something that could be the case so one of them would be uh you know father legendary son epic maybe something along those lines that's just a theory however what I want you to notice here is on the top of this uh, statue of this Pharaoh you see what appears to be some sort of uh snake I guess on the top of their headdress or whatever you call this uh, again I I'm completely ignorant to all this so forgive me but you can also see on the top here on this on this uh commander's head it's probably some sort of snake or something on the top of their on the top of their head so I don't know um if this is a hundred percent proof is it no I don't think so but I think that signs are pointing towards this new civilization being Egypt based on what we see from the official uh, rise of kingdoms page as well as some pieces we can put together from uh, what is known to be a reputable source of early information for rise of kingdom so again this is not set in stone this may not be real or anything like that but I think that this is a good clue as to what we can expect and I think Egypt has been uh on the list of civilizations that they've wanted to add for a long time in rise of kingdoms and if they do I suspect that we're gonna see some archer stats coming to these commanders and archer special units are obviously confirmed here and that's going to be really interesting i think archers have gotten a lot of love in the last year or so and speaking of archers we need to start talking about the new archers that are going to be coming into the game in probably about two months okay because i think this is the time right now if you are a free to play or a low spender to be saving your legendary commander sculptures for the new archers coming to the game and the reason for this is because we have seen so much power creep in the last few sets of commanders that it would be foolish to assume that they wouldn't do the same thing for whatever archers are coming next so if we take a look at Nevsky and if we take a look at CPO those commanders have extreme amounts of power creep they are some of the best in class commanders obviously CPO is not in the game yet we should be seeing him in about maybe 10 to 14 days something along those lines but assuming that his skills are what the official rise of kingdoms page says they are he is going to be an absolute must-have for the setup of many players and I plan on maxing him almost immediately the thing that I am thinking is going to come with the new archer commanders is that one of them may have circular AOE just like Isongye because if you think about what the new commanders are doing uh and compare them to some of the older commanders right if we just take a look for a second if we just take a look for a second okay Zhang Yu is a similar version to Genghis Khan and the fact that he lowers your rage requirement he's got the skill tree he's cavalry you get him from the wheel of fortune he's basically a far more superior version than Genghis Khan he does a little bit more obviously which is why he's just a better version but he's essentially another glass cannon just like Genghis Khan was we take a look at Nevsky Nevsky is similar in a way to Saladin right he doesn't have the support tree but he is a more tanky version 
of a cavalry commander that's one thing to take notice of and then finally looking at CPO he's obviously an upgraded version of the epic CPO from an aesthetic standpoint but from a functional standpoint he's sort of similar to like Guan Yu but a little bit of Alexander mixed in as well because he's giving multiple shields out in the open field and honestly it wouldn't be absurd to think that Lilith would show a little bit of love to archers by giving them another circular AoE commander when you think about what commanders have circular AoE in the game we have Yi Song Ye, we have Herald only when he's surrounded with his primary skill we have Theodora who really you can't use in the open field and we have some circular damage over time with Cyrus now if you take a look two of those commanders are archer commanders so it seems to be the the case that they would be most likely to give archers another circular aoe and it wouldn't be absurd to assume that perhaps we could be seeing an upgraded version of Yi song ye sometime in this year and the next uh, the next round of archers is going to be coming and probably two months maybe two and a half months or so and we are almost certain that the next round of commanders is going to be archers and it could line up nicely with the new civilization this summer is when i expect them to release the new civilization that's around the same time period that they released vikings last year i assume that they're going to do the same strategy because it worked really well they had a huge marketing push behind their new civilization when the vikings came out there was tons of advertisements on all social media platforms they sponsored a ton of bigger youtubers and content creators uh on youtube to basically talk about rise of kingdoms and the new viking civilization so i can imagine this year they'll talk about a new egypt civilization it's gonna have a new archer buff a new archer commander and then this next round of commanders could be archers and i think that would make a ton of sense for the future of the game over the next couple of months so keep that in mind the last cavalry and the last infantry or the upcoming infantry commanders are upgrades uh and huge huge amounts of power creep so when i think about what power creep would look like for archers i think of a more powerful isong ye and if we see a more powerful archer circular aoe commander come in the next pair of commanders it is going to be an absolute must have commander if it's good in the open field if we see an archer version of theodora for example where sure it has circular aoe but really half of its skills are garrison related then that might not be very useful but if we see an open field archer commander it's going to be game changing if it's got circular aoe because can you imagine right we already have nebu isang which has insane amounts of aoe it's just crazy nebu has a very powerful aoe we see on the fourth skill here an extra 15 percent damage which is insane and then isong has 50 percent more bonus skill damage which is wild if we see a circular aoe commander that is more powerful than isong then that's going to be the perfect pair you're going to have that commander primary isong secondary and it's going to be insane assuming that it's not also a glass canyon that's one of the things that makes nebu really nice is he just, he's got that defense there which is very cool now one last thing about the egyptian civilization this pharaoh here was actually discovered around the same burial site as ramses so we already have ramses in the game so that's something to keep in mind and on top of that what's on top of ramses head it's it okay it's another snake so i think we're getting i think we're getting egypt i think it's going to come in the summer and i'm honestly excited I want to see Egypt in Rise of Kingdoms. I've been saying it since they released Ark of Osiris way back in the day, before KVK even was in the game. I wanted to see Egypt as a civilization, and I hope that that is what's coming. It will be unfortunate if it gives you Archer buffs, which I assume that's what's going to happen. However, I think it's going to be really cool. So if you guys are excited about that, make sure you start saving your legendary commander sculptures for whatever commanders are going to be coming in the next cycle after CPO. And if you want to, if you're excited about the possibility of archers coming into the game as a new civilization i would recommend going into your alliance shop and purchasing a civilization change only if you're going all in on archers and you already have tier five and you're all good with all that anyway guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video if you found it useful or informative make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below what you think the new civilization is going to be do you think we're onto something here do you think egypt is definitely it 
or do you think that this website that I've been showing off is you know they're just they don't know what they're talking about it's not gonna happen I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omni York I will talk to you guys again soon peace